Well, Artastic Nation, in this episode, we're going to experiment creating value scales with some leftover coffee or tea. So find yourself some old coffee in a pot or tea in a mug and let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're going to be using leftover coffee in a coffee pot, or you could use tea um, if you don't uh, drink any coffee or if your parents don't drink coffee. And we're gonna use that either tea or coffee, just leftover. This is what I had left in my pot. And we're gonna use that to make value scales through mixing with um, just some water. So for this, you're gonna need a glass of coffee and a glass of water. And we're going to get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is find a ruler or you can just draw some boxes freehand on your paper, whatever you have. First, I'm going to make myself a value scale that has five different separations. So I'm just gonna make a long rectangle first and I'm just using black marker because that shows up well on a camera, but you use what you have at home. Okay, simple value scale. And now I'm just gonna separate this into five sections. And we can imagine that on one side, we're gonna have our darkest values and the other side will be the lightest values. Okay, so that's my value scale and no, I did not measure any of it. Okay, so this is gonna be called the coffee value scale. This side will be our darkest value of coffee and this will be the lightest. And to make the coffee um, a different value, I'm just gonna have a separate little container here. This is just a dipping bowl. You can use whatever you have. You can even use something out of your recycling container for mixing in. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna use the coffee straight out of my mug to make the darkest value. So the darkest value is gonna be the coffee at its full concentration. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush right into the container and I'm going to add it on my darkest value. Okay. Next, I'm gonna get a, my bowl. I'm going to <laughs> carefully <laughs> Pour some coffee, oh dear, into my bowl like that. Okay, now I need to add a tiny amount of water without spilling. Okay, just a bit of water in there. And now I'm gonna mix it and you're gonna stir it for 10 seconds to make sure that all the particles are evenly mixed. And now I'm going to make my second value of coffee or tea. Okay. So there's my second value and I got a little bit of a bleed there, but it is a little bit lighter. <laughs> Here we go. Time not to spill. Add a little bit more water. Gonna stir for another 10 seconds. And now I'm going to paint with an even lighter concentration. And this time I'm gonna try and leave a bit of a barrier between this value and that by not painting so close. So that way it won't spill over. Okay, so now you can see it's even lighter. Time to mix up again. Add a bit more water. Stir for another 10 seconds. Okay. 
Again, I'm gonna be careful not to touch that side because it's just gonna trinkle it, trickle in, sorry. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint an even lighter value of coffee. Now I'm going to add even more water into my bowl. We're gonna stir for a remaining 10 seconds. And I'm going to add this to my lightest value. Again, I'm not gonna touch that side. And there is my lightest value of coffee. Now I am gonna go back and re-add some dark coffee on my dark value there where I kind of messed up. But there you go, you have a transition of full concentration coffee all the way down to a light value. So you can do this with anything that you want to use. You could probably paint with some juice, some tea, some carbonated drinks, probably not water. That won't work, but give it a try. See what happens and explore painting with some coffee. Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Uh, tune in on Tuesday evenings at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. And please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And for more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.